guys, the Hakka Pump has arrived. Hi everyone, it's time for the greatly requested Hakka Pump video. In this video, I'm going to teach you all about how to use a super simple breast pump, how to never waste any of that leaking milk again, and how to store it safely from the Hakka. And Stay tuned to the end for some insider tips on busting up clogged ducts using this super simple device. My name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse, an international board certified lactation consultant, and co-founder of People's Lactation. Our goal on this channel is to give you all the most up-to-date information on breastfeeding, chest feeding, and lactation, and We'd love to have you join our community, so give us a like, subscribe down below, and hit the bell so you're notified when we post a new video each Tuesday. In this video, I'm gonna teach you all about how to use this super simple silicone breast pump. This is so awesome for those of you who experience any leaking when your milk lets down and your baby's feeding on one side. Instead of catching that leaking milk with a breast pad that you just throw away afterwards, this will just stay on with suction, put it on the opposite breast when you're feeding baby, and by the end of the feed, you're gonna notice that you've collected a decent amount of milk in this. Whether you're an experienced breast and chest feeding parent or a new parent, this is an amazing invention. The Hucka Pump comes in this super cool little cardboard box. Can be really tricky to open. I don't know if it's just the one that I have or if they all come with this really difficult tube to open, but seriously guys, I bent my fingernail back trying to open this the first time. It was not a very sexy unboxing. <laughs> so leave a comment down below if you've had a similar experience with trying to open this. I think it's awesome that Hakka puts it in this kind of, I'm assuming, recyclable packaging. Just wondering if anyone else has struggled as much as I did to take it out of the package. So here we go. <laughs> All right. This is the infamous Hakka pump or silicone breast pump. A lot of silicone breast pumps look very similar to this. Some of the Hakkas come with a little suction cup on the bottom, which is awesome so that you don't have to worry about crying over spilled milk. You can just pop that on your counter and hope that it sits still. Um, some also come with a cover or a little stopper inside so that if it does tip over, the milk doesn't spill. So there are various options. I'll leave a link in the description for this particular pump, but just know that there are other options out there um, this video is not sponsored by Hakka. I just, in my lactation experience, have found this or any silicone breast pump to be a super useful tool for lactating parents. Putting this on is really simple. It's a one size fits all contraption. You don't have to worry about fitting yourself for a flange like you do with other mechanical breast pumps. Um, there are two ways to form suction. So the first way is to just squeeze the bottle part of this and place it over your breast, under your nipple right in the middle. And release the suction and you're gonna see it pulls the nipple down into it a little bit and it just stays suctioned onto the breast. The other way to put it on, which is gonna form even stronger suction and this thing is not going anywhere, is to squeeze the bottom, then flip this flange part inside out. You might have to hold it down a little bit. And then you flip this flange part back up over the breast and let go of the bottle. And as you can see, this pulls the nipple even farther into the pump and it's gonna stay on. This thing's not going anywhere. Once you get that suctioned onto your breast like that, and once you experience a letdown, you're going to see the milk start spraying down into this little bottle, and trust me guys, it's really satisfying to see that and feel that relief. So once you're done pumping, 
Go ahead and squeeze it a little bit to remove the suction. Take it off and you should have a pretty good little collection of milk. You can go ahead and transfer it over to a bottle or a freezer bag. So if you have a wider bottle like this Komotomo bottle, you can just take the milk from this, give this a squeeze and pour it into whatever bottle you're using. This may also work for narrower necked bottles, but another hack for transferring milk from the haka to a bottle is to take a regular flange from your mechanical breast pump, flip it upside down and put it in the top of the bottle and then just pour this in through the flange using the flange as a funnel. As I mentioned in this video about milk storage, you can combine milk from a couple of different Haka pump sessions throughout one day. You just want to make sure that you let the newest milk cool down in the refrigerator so you're not adding warm milk to cold milk. This brand does come in two sizes, a four ounce and a five ounce. So depending on your supply and your needs, you can also check out the different sizing options for this. This one is a four ounce and you can see on the side here. So you can see what volume of milk you've pumped. After each use, you wanna go ahead and wash this with some warm soapy water and you can sterilize it. It's recommended that you sterilize it once a day. Let it boil for about three minutes. Guys, let me just take a minute to say, for those of you who are new to lactation, the first week is the hardest. If you're a new parent, or if it's been a while since feeding your last baby, check the link down below for a free lactation guide for the first one to five days. Are you guys ready for my tip on busting up clogged ducts? I know some of you parents out there have experienced clogged ducts. Whew, those things are painful. A silicone breast pump can be awesome for busting up clogged ducts. So if you are a parent who's experienced this painful part of lactation or one of the unfortunate people who tends to get recurrent plug ducts, then this tip is for you. What you wanna do is fill your haka pump with a little bit of warm water and mix in about a tablespoon of Epsom salts. Epsom salts are gonna help draw out that clog. You're gonna squeeze it, form that suction that we talked about earlier and just leave it on your breast for five or 10 minutes until you feel that clog let go and just go ahead and toss that mixture out because you do not want to give that mixture to the baby. Just a disclaimer there. It's pretty obvious, right? That's it, super simple. It's a great way to relieve a little pressure in the opposite breast, a great way to catch any leaking milk, and hey, you may never need to use your mechanical breast pump again, depending on your supply and your situation, of course. If you found any of these tips helpful, leave me a heart down below, or if you have another tip to share with families that could use it. Also, feel free to leave a comment with any future videos that you'd be interested in seeing. I'm always open to suggestions and happy to bring you what you need to make this journey easier for you. Hey guys, I really enjoy bringing these videos to you every week. If you like the videos and wanna be part of our community, please give us a like. Please subscribe. If you hit the bell, you're gonna get notified each week when I post a new video. So thanks for stopping by and I'm gonna leave some of our other videos up on the screen. Go ahead and check them out and look forward to bringing you more material next week.